Hey all you book lovers and YouTubers out there, I have returned with a book haul slash in my mailbox. I got a lot of books this week. I went to the uh, bookstore in the library Saturday, and then I went to the uh, bookstore again um, yesterday, and then I got something in the mail, and I'm really excited for it. Cannot wait to show you guys what I got. And I got a lot of books, I mean a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start on them, and I'm going to show you the ones I got at the library first, and then I'll move on to the ones that I bought. So the uh, first one I got is Eon by Allison Goodman. Then I got Slay by Amanda uh, Moran. Then I got DeLorean by Lauren Oliver, and it is a 2011 debut. And and it's also my first Lauren Oliver novel, so I'm really excited for it. So DeLorean. I got the second book in the Energy series. It is The Body at the Tower by Y.S. Lee. Really excited about this one. I got Wild Wing by Emily Whitman. This is a 2011 debut also, and I love the cover on it. Really pretty cover. I got Entwine by Heather Dixon. This is also a 2011 debut, and I love the cover on this one also. It's really shiny, really pretty. So, and it's a retelling of the uh, 12 Dancing Princesses, and I'm really excited about reading a book of that, a uh, retelling of it, because I really enjoyed that story when I was a kid, so, Entwine. I got In a Daze by Max Turner, the sequel to Night Runner, and you guys can check out my review on it. So, In a Daze, cannot wait to see what happens in this one. Got Numbers by Rachel Ward. Really excited about this one. Really cool cover on this one also. Then the last book that I got at the library is Haven by Kristen Cook. So, those are all the books that I got at the library. Then the uh, first two that I got here that I bought is ones that I have shown you guys in one of my previous videos. Book calls and I could not I could not read them because I did not have the chance to and I had to take them back. So I went ahead and bought my own. And the first one is Body Finder by Kimberly Denson. I am so excited to try this out. Uh, and I'm cannot wait. I'm actually reading it right now and I cannot wait. Eee, really excited about that one. And then I got Infinity by Sherilyn Kendi. This is the other one that I did not have a chance to read, and I got it for a good price. I got it for $6.97, and it's in hardcover, so cannot wait to read this one. And both of them, um, of this series, uh, the second book to it, has came out um, this year, and I really want to start the series so I can see if I like it. I, it looks like the uh, the second ones look like they could be awesome. I've heard amazing things on those too. So the uh, next one is Merlin's Harp by Alan, Alice Andy Elledit uh, Crimson. This looks like it's going to be really cool. The cover is really pretty. So cannot wait to read this one. Got Die for Me by Amy Plum. This is. <laughs> a 2011 debut, and you guys know that I received a uh, signed bookmark last week of the author, and by the way, this came in early at my bookstore. It's not supposed to come out until next week on the uh, 10th, so I was really excited about seeing this early at my bookstore, so die for me, and I'm also reading it, by the way, not very far into it either, so die for me. And then I got City of... Ashes by Consender Claire, the sequel to City of Bones. I'm going to be doing a review on City of Bones tomorrow, so look forward to that, because I cannot wait to see what happens with Claire in this one, so City of Ashes. And I got In the Arms of the of Stone Angels by Jordan uh, Dane. This is also a 2011 debut, and I love the cover on this one also, really pretty cover on that. And then I got The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bendor. A retail one of Alice in Wonderland. And then the last one I got is Secrets and Shadows by Sharon Delay. The uh, sequel to uh, 13 in Life. And I really enjoyed that one. You guys can check out my review on that one also. So, Secrets and Shadows. 
So those are the books that I got. Um, what I got in the mail is I requested um, to uh, Kimberly Jensen and she sent me some swag of her second book, Desire of the Dead. She got me a signed uh, postcard and um, personalized it and she hopes that I enjoy it so I was really excited about that. <laughs> And then she got me uh, three stickers of Desires of the Dead. And then she got me uh, three signed bookmarks in this style. And then the other one, and then the other one, by the way, is uh, in this style. That's what it looks like. And then on the back, is she signed it. So I got three of them, but one of them I'm using to uh, read Body Finder, so that's why I don't have it with me to show you. And anyways, uh, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with a book review on City of Bones by Kinsena Claire. And then a bookshelf tour. So, I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.